This video will show you how to use our Medical Workstation Viewer to view a data set from the Workstation's local database. Before viewing, ensure you have performed the steps detailed in the Medical Workstation videos Installing Setup and Query and Retrieve. In this video, I will demonstrate each of the features our DICOM Viewer provides. From the Workstation Search View, change the source to Local Database and perform a query. Once the results come in, bring up the context menu by right-clicking on either the study or the series. The option Open in Viewer will load the images into our viewer and bring it into focus. If you select this option from a study, the workstation will open all the series into the viewer. If you select this option from a series, the workstation will only open the selected series. You can select one or more series to open into the viewer at one time. Let's select the first series for now and open it in the viewer. At the top of the viewer, you'll notice a toolbar with many features available. In the middle, you'll see the images from the dataset you selected. At the bottom, you'll see a status bar indicating which feature is associated with each mouse button. You'll note in order to use the zoom, you will need a mouse with a middle button. Also note that the left mouse button is the only button whose functionality will change based on the selected option from the toolbar. The right mouse button and the middle mouse button's functionality will always remain the same. Now let's go over the toolbar. In the upper left hand corner, you have the ability to save the image to a BMP or a JPEG file. You can copy the image and paste it in some other imaging application, or you can send the image to a printer. The next feature is selected by default, the stack. This allows you to scroll through the different frames of the image. With the left mouse button pressed, move the mouse up and down to scroll back and forth through the frames. Next we have the pan feature. Left click on the button and you'll note the status bar has updated with this feature. Left click and move the mouse to pan the image. The next feature is the window level. This allows you to change the range of gray values displayed at one time. Left click on the button to show the drop down. Here you can either have our workstation automatically level the image based on the stored data set values or you can modify the values yourself using the custom option. For quick fine tuning, hold the right mouse button down and move the mouse left to right or up and down. This feature is always on and available with the right mouse button. Next, we put all the zooming features in one button. Left click on the magnifying glass button to enable the magnifying glass. Note the updated status bar. Click on the drop down to modify the zoom level of the image in the viewer. The annotation button also contains a drop down to allow you to select four types of annotations. The region button allows you to create four types of regions, a rectangle, ellipse, freehand, or you can use the magic wand. The magic wand allows you to create a region based off a of color. You can also clear the region from the image or from all images. We have two measurement tools the ruler and the angle.
the ruler can be calibrated to a known measurement on the image. For instance, if there is an object in the image, such as a ruler, that has a known size, you would overlap the object with the ruler annotation. Then use the Calibrate dialog to tell the workstation how long the object is. This calibration can be different for each image. The next button allows you to perform some basic image rotation. It also lets you reset the orientation. The series and stack modes allow you to switch between viewing the images as three separate images or as a stack of images. Use the drop down to change the layout of the images. You can then switch back to stack mode. You can change the number of images, series, and studies displayed at one time. There is a button specifically for inverting the image. The Cine player will play each frame in the selected series subcell. You can also change the view to stack and play the Cine. The advanced options on the Cine player allow you to alter the order of the image's playback, alter the interpolation, animate all subcells, and display regions and annotations during animation. You can also adjust which frames are displayed. You can enable or disable the display of the text around the image, also known as tags. The next button allows you to apply an adjustment to all the images. Change to the series view. Select the pan option and move an image. You'll note that with the link images enabled, all the images move with the selected one. Unlink the images and move one again. You'll see that the other images now do not move. To obtain more information about the dataset, use the DICOM button. You can view the DICOM file by module or in a list. We also have a series browser, which lets you quickly browse through all the series loaded in the viewer. Our pan zoom window allows you to quickly zoom in on the image. Once zoomed, you can move the rectangle around, which updates the display area and the subcell. We also support scout lines if the dataset supports them as well. If you quickly right click on a subcell, a context menu will also appear containing the most frequently used functionality from the toolbar. However, there are four extra features on the context menu that are not on the toolbar. The first is the ability to select the entire series. You can also delete an image unload a series, or unload a study. For quick zooming, press the middle mouse button and move the mouse up and down. And lastly, if you double click on any image, you toggle between stack view and series view. This concludes the overview of our medical viewers functionality.